Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is May 10th, 2017, and you may recognize where I am standing right now. And if you guess it's the Beehive House, you are absolutely 100% correct. Now, this, this house right here, I've, I've already set um, three swarm traps already. My stands are still up, as a matter of fact, and I've caught three swarms here already. And uh, I come back every couple of days and check to see if any other swarms have moved in. And so it's been about a week. I don't think it's been more than a week since I've been here. And uh, we've, got, we've got swarms moved back in here. So let me grab the camera and, and I'm going to show you what we're looking at today. This is swarm number one right here. And they moved into the exact same spot where I had removed a swarm last year. You can see the traces of the old comb that were hanging right there. I removed that last year and uh, and now these bees have come back to it. Um, you can see my stands on the outside here, another one right there, and the other one right there that we caught swarms already this year. But this, this is what we're looking at today. How about that one? Now, like I said, I don't think these bees have been here more than seven days. I'm certain there's going to be a little bit of comb built up in there. But we're going to grab these bees this morning real quick and uh, get them in a box. I'm going to leave the box here, let them stay out here for a day or two after I put them in the box. But after that, they'll be heading up to the St. John's yard. But folks, I tell you, this house is like the fruit of the month club at Christmas time. It's the gift that just keeps on giving. So by the grace of God, these girls right here, they're going to become Abby honeybees. Let's wrangle some bees by hand. Folks, right here. Look at that. Woo-wee. She is a beauty. I guarantee that ain't no virgin queen. That's the old queen right there. Uh, I hate to say it again, but that thing is so big, the dirt rooster could have seen that one. I pulled the, uh, that last little section of comb off and I just happened to, I said, well, let me see if she's on the other side. And I looked up there and I saw her running around in the frame. I dropped that piece of comb and I nabbed her. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a blessing, huh? So now I'm going to do is go ahead and lay her right inside of the, uh, on top of the box. And bees will find her and uh, we'll get this thing done really quick. I'm not going to be able to save any of that comb. It's, it's just so, so soft. I'm sorry about that, because they, they work pretty hard to get it to that point. But they've got, they've got I think, five or six frames of old, old brood comb in there, so they'll, they'll do all right. They'll make up. All right, let's finish this job up. Thank you, Jesus. Well, here's our, here's our setup with the queen in it on the frame. I'm just going to drop this in the, in the box right now. Everything looks good in there. I can see her. She's doing really fine in there. Got plenty of tenders to her. Let's drop this in there and just her right here at the top. Drop this frame in there and let's get these bees to calm down.
as you can see there still are a bunch of them up in there that's kind of to be expected because the distance um, from where the bees were to where they are now it's got to be at least five feet if I had that box closer those bees they they wouldn't be up there right now they'd be in the box but let me show you we, bees are fanning they're letting them know they're here they got their rumps up in the air spreading the word and pretty soon all these girls they're gonna be in the box hot dog how about this folks I came back today so it's not even been well maybe about 20 hours later and we got another swarm moved in so hopefully I'll get out here in the next day or two and get these things out of here before they start building too much comb but we're gonna go ahead and finish up on that that other one we did the other day we're gonna release the queen and uh, close up that box let's, let's get over there number six unbelievable unbelievable Wow well, the box is all closed up and the bees are definitely all settled into it now. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, release the queen. I'm going to release the queen and uh, close this one up. How is that for a nice box of bees? All right, let's find our queen and get her out of here, huh? Let's make a little room so it just won't be so tight when we turn it loose. She is right there. So we can just turn it loose on the comb over here. There she is right here. She's going around the back side. Oh, I've lost her already. Well anyway, she went in there. Alright. We'll close this one up. Look at the bees marching over here. You think these girls don't know where their mama is? <laughs> well, that went very smooth. Um, so that's all I have for you in this one. Uh, thank you for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. As you can see, I got another swarm moving in over there. Uh, they haven't, I mean, this, they probably just moved in there this afternoon, less than 12 hours. And it looks like there actually may be another one moving in over here, too. So I don't call this house the beehive house for nothing. All right, till next time. God bless. Bye now. thing I can say, bee wrangling don't get any better than when you can grab them with your hands. Now my buddy Dan up in uh, Montreal, he says it don't get any better until you start grabbing with your bare hands, but till then I'm going to still use my rubber gloves.